Okay, today we're going to be talking about some basics of matrices. Uh, a matrix is a wonder mathematical tool. It's really a table or a rectangular array of numbers. Uh, rows by columns. You can see right here at the top of the notes, uh, we really have a 2 by 3 matrix. Two rows. Rows are always horizontally. Uh, columns are uh, vertical. Uh, so two rows by three columns, you could see this would be a way maybe to represent uh, t-shirts for men and women and sizes with small, medium, and large. We could see that there would be two large t-shirts for men in this table, whereas there would be seven for women. A uh, great way to organize data. Uh, matrices can be used for all types of things. We're going to see very, very soon they can even be used for geometric transformations of figures of points and so forth. But in any event, let's take a look at example one. Uh, we have matrix A and matrix B, uh, and we would like to be able to add and subtract them together. Certainly we can do this via a calculator, and we're going to talk about that soon enough. But when it comes to the addition or the subtraction of matrices, dimensions must be the same. Here you can see for matrix A, this is two rows, two horizontal rows, and one, two, three, four columns. This is a two by four matrix. You're going to notice that matrix B has the same number of rows by columns. When we add matrix A plus B, add the corresponding entries. Top left, top left, you'd say 2 plus negative 4. Then we'd have 4 plus 7. Uh, 8 would be added to negative 1. Likewise, negative 3 would be added to 9. Down below, 0 plus 3 uh, for our bottom left corner. Uh, then we'd have a 1 matching up with a 4. 1 plus 4. Uh, 2 would be added with the 1, and 3 would be added to the 0. Uh, 2 plus negative 4, of course, is negative 2. Here we get 11. This would be 7. 9 plus negative 3, or negative 3 plus 9 is 6. Here's 3, 5, 3, and another 3. So uh, very quickly we see we still have a 2 by 4 matrix. Uh, for the second step, if we were to subtract, very similarly, we'd have 2 minus negative 4, 4 minus 7, 8 minus negative 1, negative 3 minus 9, 0 minus 3, 1 minus 4, uh, 2 minus uh, a 1, and then finally 3 minus 0. Of course, we're going to get different answers. Uh, 2 minus negative 4 is a 6, up here would be negative 3. This is a 9, negative 12, negative 3, negative 3, 1, and a 3. Uh, like I said, we could enter this onto a graphing calculator or even the TI-89. We're going to talk about how to enter that in for uh, more complicated matrices in just a few minutes as we multiply. Uh, and, of course, the steps we'll take could very well have been applied with the addition and subtraction. Usually though additions and subtractions go quite fast. Uh, as we look at matrix A, 3A, well 3A is going to just be a multiplication of 3 to each entry in this matrix. Multiply every term inside the matrix by 3. Uh, how about for 2B? Well very similarly multiply every individual entry by a 2 and uh, that is called a scalar multiplication where a real number is multiplied to every term inside the matrix but then of course here we want to say matrix 3a minus 2b well just like we did above essentially we're just going to subtract now negative 3 minus a 2 9 minus 10 3 minus negative 8 0 minus negative 2, 12 minus a 4, and 6 minus 2. And of course, for us to be able to subtract matrices, we must have the same dimensions. Uh, really should have commented on that just a moment ago. Of course, they are both 2 by 3, and that would mean that 
uh, we are able to do this arithmetic. In the event that uh, two matrices did not have the same dimensions, it would be impossible to be able to add or subtract them together. Okay, matrix multiplication is a little bit more involved. Uh, and I'm going to break out the, the TI-89 in just a few minutes. Uh, but one thing I do want to point out is that now you're going to notice that the dimensions of your two matrix matrices, when you multiply, will not necessarily be the same. What must occur, though, is you may multiply an M by N by an N by P. These inner dimensions must be the same number. Uh, and the final answer you will get is you will multiply by the outer dimensions. Your answer will have an M by P dimension. Uh, again, matrix multiplication is only defined when we have this. So uh, matrix A, we have 2 by 3. Here, matrix B, we have a 3 by 2. You can see the uh, inner dimensions are going to match. Uh, we are able to multiply these, and we will wind up with a matrix that is a 2 by 2. Here, though, I would really like to point out how the calculator can be used to help us work through this. Uh, using a, a TI-89, well, 89s are such amazing graphing calculators. When we take our contest, uh, which is coming up relatively soon, uh, TI-89s are going to be allowed, uh, and that's very good news. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at how we can enter a matrix A into the calculator. So I'm going to bring the calculator up, uh, and you can see this is a rather large version of the machine. I'm going to just turn it on, and you can see the screen right here. Uh, but you can see that there are brackets around this matrix. Look at where uh, the 9 button is. Right above there is the comma. And in yellow here, we have a bracket. Uh, right next to this, the division button. Up here in yellow, we have a bracket as well. So what I'm going to do is enter in matrix A first. I'll hit second, bracket. Now you can see reading left to right will have negative 1, 3, and 1. So I'm going to type in negative 1, comma, the comma is right above a 9, 3, comma, 1. But now we're done with this row. How do we proceed? How do we go to the next row? Well, we're going to use uh, this little semicolon. Right above 9, we have the semicolon or semicolon, and we'll hit second right here. Uh, then we'll just enter in this next row. We'll type in 0, comma, 4, comma, 2. We'll close our brackets. We have now entered a matrix. Of course, we'd like to multiply. We're going to multiply that to matrix B. Now matrix B, we're going to bring up our uh, brackets. We'll say 2, comma, 5, but that's the end of our row. We need a, a semicolon right now. We'll say 4, comma, negative 1. Oop, made a mistake. You make a mistake. Use the back arrow. It's right below the down button here. Uh, 4, comma, negative 1. Hit another semicolon second, 9, and we're almost there, negative 3, comma, 1. Uh, finish this up by closing off the brackets. You really do have to always end your problem uh, with a bracket. And uh, then just hit enter. And we said it was a 2 by 2 uh, matrix, and that's exactly what we see. 7, negative 7, 10, comma, negative 2. Later on, I'll show you how to multiply this out by hand. It's always rows by columns. Uh, just to highlight how, like, this is row 1, column 1, 
match and multiply negative 1 times 2 plus 3, the middle one, times 4. Now we'd say plus 1 times negative 3. This is negative 2 plus 12 plus negative 3. Add this all up, you'd get a 7. That's what our row 1, column 1 entry would be. And we could do that continually to finish up the other entries. The calculator, though, allows us to do that so incredibly quickly. Uh, look, right here we've got example 4, the product of B times A. We're going to switch the order. B, of course, is a 3 by 2. Uh, A, of course, is a 2 by 3. Uh, so you, you can see we may multiply, but we won't get the same answer. We should wind up with a 3 by 3 matrix. So, let's see what we've got here. Uh, tell you what, I'm going to go back over here. The order is really important. I'm going to delete all this. Oops. Here's our matrix B. And then we can come over here. and say times, and we could enter this in again if we'd like, you know, just say, oops, this didn't take a second, have brackets, uh, we'll have negative one, comma three, comma one, get our semicolon in there, zero, comma, four, comma, two, uh, and close our brackets. The big, big, big thing to see here is that order matters. Uh, you can see we get a different answer. Negative 2, 26, 12. Let's see if we can write that down. Negative 2, 26, 12. Uh, real quickly, negative 4, 8, 2. And finally, uh, 3, negative 5, negative 1. All right, the identity matrix. Well, the identity matrix is a very special matrix. It's always square. This is I sub two, a two row by two column. Rows and columns will be the same. I sub three would be one zero 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 one zero 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 one. You have ones going in this left diagonal from the top left to the bottom right and so on. What you're going to see is for any square uh, matrix here, if you have A times I, uh, you're going to be able to get A. And if we have I times A, likewise, we're also going to have A as well. Okay, the inverse of a matrix. Well, this is a great way to be able to undo a matrix. A times the inverse of A is going to be the identity matrix. Likewise, the inverse of A times A is going to be the identity matrix as well. Uh, could we find the inverse of this last problem? Well, we're pressing it with time, but we certainly could. Uh, let's see. We'll enter this in with some brackets. Here's a 3, comma, 1. Uh, and we'll say semicolon. And then we'll say 2, comma, 1. Close our brackets. By the way, you could put in a 3x3 three three matrix also. But if you want to find the inverse, raise that to the negative 1 power. And you'll see very quickly you'd get 1, negative 1, negative 2, 3. <laughs> This is your inverse matrix. If you were to multiply that to A, you would get this identity matrix up here. So that's how the calculator can be used uh, to find the inverse of a matrix. You can also use this to find the inverse of a 3x3 three three matrix very quickly and easily. Hope this is helping. We're going to continue talking about this with geometric transformations very soon. Good luck.